Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to fine tune NVIDIA's pre trained Canary 180 million flash multilingual speech model specifically for English automatic speech recognition using a small subset of the Libri Lite dataset. I already have shown you how to get this model installed locally and we saw how to do automatic speech recognition and English language to French, German and couple of other language translations. If you are interested in learning as how to get it installed, please watch my other video. Just search it and I will also drop the link to it in first comment and also in videos description. So please do check it out as how to get it running. I already have done the prerequisites installation as per that earlier video and all I have done so far is just created a virtual environment with Coda and then I have installed these prerequisite libraries plus I have also launched my Jupyter Notebook so I'm just going to take you to my Ju Jupyter Notebook in order to show you the fine tuning which I just mentioned as I said if you are looking um, to see the installation of this model just watch my other video but these are the steps from the start which you need to do which we already have done so if I go to my virtual environment which is Conda as you can see left hand side it is already activated I am running this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX um, this a6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices you can find the link to my masked compute in video's description I will also give you a 50% discount coupon for a range of GPUs so please do check them out another sponsors of the video are Camel AI Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation so please do check them out okay so let's now fine tune this canary 1 billion flash model which nvidia has just released it's a very uh, permissive license which is quite uh, good it is also second on the open asr leader port it comes in 880 million and 180 million size parameters depends upon you which you want to install it only supports for uh, four languages english german french and spanish at the moment it is um, based on this nemo framework which we have already installed as i showed you in these commands so you can see that we have installed this nemo toolkit with asr functionality okay so let's now launch our jupyter notebook and then we will start cracking on fine tuning this model okay first step let's set up all the basic libraries and then we are also initializing our model which is canary 180 million flash it should already be there on my system as part of my other video where we installed it locally so let's run it and there you go the model is downloaded now for the fine tuning of course we need a base model and then we need a data set so model is done let's now also grab our data set as i mentioned earlier i'm just going to go with this custom library uh, data set which is a very small scale light data set but if you're looking to fine tune it in on your own data set just replace this data set uh, with your own you can either get it from hugging face or you can just get it from any url of your choice so it is in the zip format once that happens we also need to build this manifest which primarily dictates how we are um, processing this data set that which columns are there which languages which you are using uh, if you want you can for example if you are fine tuning on any let's say arabic data set so you just replace this data set of arabic and then you replace this language code here to uh, target language code to arabic now i know that um, you know data set creation is not a simple task so that is why i'm not including in this video but i have already got a lot of other videos around data set creation just search the channel uh, and you should be able to find uh, plenty but the focus of this video is on fine tuning this base model so this is where we are downloading and processing our data set so let me run this it is downloading this data set as you can see so let's wait and the both are done both the data set and manifest i mean 
then we need to grab the tokenizer you can build your own tokenizer or i would suggest just go with the provided tokenizer with a flash canary so let me run this and the tokenizer has been saved as you can see next what we need to do we need to prepare this yaml file so let me first explain this code so what we are doing here we are preparing a yaml configuration file which sets up our fine tuning process to precisely match the architecture and tokenization tokenization of nvidia's pre-trained canary 180 million model so this what this code is doing it is explicitly initializing the new model from the pre-trained checkpoint preserving the tokenizer compatibility by referencing paths to the previously saved tokenizer files and maintaining consistency with the original prompt formatting and neural architecture parameters additionally we are also defining our data manifest paths and fine-tuning parameters such as small training steps count for quick iterative process now if you need this code um, just uh, you know go to the channel's home page uh, do me a favor and buy me a coffee send me the screenshot of it happy to um, you know provide you the code it has taken me around four to five hours or i think even more in order to get this trade because it's not available at nvidia site and it's really really buggy out there so i would highly appreciate if you could do the favor so let me run this and that is done now for the final step where we actually initiate the training let's go to the directory where we have which is um, the root directory where we have already created these jml files and in order to run the training all we need to do is to run this command so what this command is primarily doing it is executing the actual fine tuning process by running a provided training script from nvidia nemo in the command line terminal this initiates a model training using the previously generated yaml configuration files and then results are automatically stored in a specific results directory and this is going to take a bit of a time so let me run this and the model training has started as you can see here it is going through different epochs it is fairly quick i'll just show you the above so i just started it here and then you can see it is going through different phases checking the tokenizer checking the data set and a lot of other stuff and goes on and on and on a lot of data will be printed on your screen so just be aware of it let me go down and now it is doing a lot of testing after training so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time and within 10 minutes the training has finished successfully as you can see these are the logs where it has generated everything and i'll just quickly scroll up to show you a bit more what is happening so this is a lot of stuff it has done all the hyperparameters and stuff okay so that is done now let's try it out so for that i will just launch my jupyter notebook again and first up i'm just going to load my fine-tuned model so you see that i'm just importing some of the libraries and this is a new model with our um, new name if you have given it different name just replace it with that new model name and our brand new spanking model is loaded as you can see i'll just scroll down there you go okay next let's give it our own audio file from our local system so i'm just giving it this local audio file we are converting it to the compatible format and i went into the detail when we installed it what exactly this means so check out the other video which you can find in the pinned comment and then let me run this the audio is loaded after converting let's run it then leaving the corpse within the house they go themselves to and fro about the city and beat themselves with their garments bound up by a girdle okay so that is done let's try out our task with our new model and i'm just going to do a simple transcription of this audio file with this new model so let me run this there you go it's fairly quick and it has done a wonderful job with this model real good stuff and if i quickly show you the vram consumption the small model just is taking under 2 gig of vram 1.8 really really lightweight i would say you can easily run it on your cpu 
and as it supports other four languages you can do it with the spanish as you can see the results are spot on you can do it with french quite easily let's run it there you go so the french is french is also quite good and you can also similarly do the german and we have thoroughly tested it in our other video so this is how you do the fine tuning on a custom data set and there are various other tasks you can do you can do translation as we just saw transcription and you can even do the time stamping let me know what do you think about this model very impressive model by the way um, especially I, as i mentioned my in my other video the license is quite permissive which i really like it would be really good to have an apache too but let's live with this for now if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching